fucking days. What a fight. Oh my god. I love this fight so much. I just watched it. I'm so pumped up. Clay Gita weathered the storm and just weathered a storm. A storm of a big storm. He weathered a fucking tornado in the first round. I mean, Santos came out swinging. He came out with everything he had in the first round and almost got, he almost got Clay Gita the fuck up out of there. Like, that dude was almost out of there. That dude was almost out. Like, hit him with knees, elbows, everything. Fucking everything. But I think uh, Gita stayed safe. You know, he, he moved around just enough. He stuck onto the leg, single leg. I mean, obviously, Santos kept getting out, but Clay Gita did just enough for me, in my opinion, and for Keith Peterson to not stop that fight. He moved around just about enough. I mean, he wasn't knocked out. He wasn't, he was definitely severely hurt. I mean, at times, I thought the ref was going to stop the fight. I'm so happy he didn't. But I mean, I, I mean, if I was the ref, I wouldn't have stopped it because I was looking at the fight. I was like, no, nah, don't stop it. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. Because he kept moving around. He kept protecting himself. He was getting hurt, of course. But it's a fight. You get hurt in a fight. That's what it happens. It's not. This isn't football or tennis. Like you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get not. You might get hurt. You're not going to, but you might get hurt. You might get dropped. But it's not about if you get dropped. It's about what you do after you get dropped. You come back and you fight. That's it. And, I mean, dude, Santos blew his load in the first round. Tried to get Clay Gita the fuck up out of there. And he never recovered. He just never recovered. Gita put that fucking pace on him after that. And there was one minute and 30 seconds left in the round. And Santos was done. He was gassing out of his ass. No fucking energy left. I mean, that dude, that dude... Clay, I mean, Clay Gita, pressure. Santos, he broke on the pressure. He quit. He quit. He broke. He wilted on the pressure. And look at him sitting under the guard of Clay Gita. Clay Gita is just raining down elbows. I mean, this was a fight. Oh, my God. Clay Gita, this motherfucker. Clay Gita, man. I love this dude. He's probably my new favorite fighter. This motherfucker might be my most favorite fighter ever, man. Shit. This shit was amazing. I mean, look at him. The whole the whole round, I was like, after the round was over, I was like, he's done. I was literally screaming at my fucking phone watching the fight. And I was like, he's done. He's fucking done. He's tired. Look at how tired he is. And he's done. You can literally see it on his face. I mean, the way that Gita was just able to take him down with such ease, take his back with such ease, and then just choke him the fuck out like that. Look at that shit. That torque. And all of that fucking... I mean, the way he just choked him the fuck out there. And the reason why he was able to choke him out was because Santos was tired. Not even enough energy to fight the choke. And this guy is supposed to be a seven-time jiu-jitsu world champion. Seven-time jiu-jitsu world champion. Gets choked the fuck out by Clay motherfucking Gita, man. I love Clay Gita. My new favorite fighter, man. <laughs> this motherfucker knocked. I mean, he almost gets knocked the fuck out. Comes back and chokes him out. I mean, this is what's... This is, this is interesting. I mean, we all knew that Clay Gita was like a, a legend, a pioneer of the sport. But damn. Going out there and submitting a seven-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion... That's definitely going to feel very good. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, you can tell your wife or your kids, hey, honey, I just not, I just submitted a seven-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion. You, you, you want to go for round two in the bedroom? <laughs> but like, oh my God, Clay, man, you did it, bro. Like you, you got this dude up out of there in the fucking second round. And it looked like he almost knocked you the fuck. He looked like he was going to finish you. I thought he was going to finish you. I was like, holy crap. And then you survive. You weather the storm. And you just finish him like that. Oh, my God. I don't know if that's going to be the fight of the year. But 
it's not the fight of the year. I mean, I don't think so. There's too many good candidates. Submission of the year? It might be close. I mean, submission of the year. I think that's a that's a good contender. I think this might be submission of the year. I don't know. Like, it's such a good submission. I don't even know if I can say... I mean, dude, the fight was amazing. The first round, what happens is Clay Gita, you know, he doesn't start out very fast. He's not a fast starter. And then Santa just comes out swinging, heavy, throwing everything. Throwing everything but the kitchen sink. Throwing knees to the body and the clinch, the Muay Thai plum, elbows. like, And then uh, he's throwing knees to the body, knees to the head. And the knee to the head actually lands, drops Clay Gita. Then he gets back up, tries to go to a single leg. Santos defends a single leg. And then Santos keeps hitting him with elbows. And Clay Gita tries to take him down. And, he, and Santos keeps hitting him with elbows. And then Santos completely, completely gasses himself out. And then Clay Gita uses his fight IQ, goes back to his wrestling, makes him drain that gas tank even more. Then the second round starts, he makes him drain that gas tank even more, takes his back, takes him down, chokes him out just like that. Holy shit. Man. I mean, just like Mike Tyson said, if you look for the finish and you don't get it, you're not winning a decision. And then if you have more output in a fight that you've never had. Look, man, Santos was Santos has never had this level of output in an MMA fight ever in his career. He's used to getting finishes early in the fight, submissions, submission threat. I mean, look, man, all of these black belt jiu-jitsu world champions, these guys, they're human beings, just like the rest of us, man. If you get tired in a fight, you're useless. It's over. There's nothing you can do. You're tired. There's nothing you can... There's literally not... Bro, you can't do nothing. When you're tired, when you're this tired, and you're and, you, and all you can do is just lie down, I mean, you can you can move around, but your muscles are fatigued, your whole body's fatigued. There's not much you can do. There's nothing you can do, actually. And the other guys fresh like this? Choking on your neck? Come on, man. This shit was like... This shit was a televised slaughter. Like, holy shit. This motherfucker, Clay Gita, might be my fucking new favorite fighter ever. <laughs> Maybe I'm kind of being over sensationalized, sensationalizing it, but... Man, this motherfucker knows how to fight. Like, he might be my new favorite fighter. I don't give a fuck about the other fights. This might, this needs to be the new main event. Shit. <coughs> I think it's definitely fight of the night, 100%. He deserves 50K for sure. 